Hey, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, subscribe and then ring the bell for notifications, all that good stuff. If you'd like to make a comment, if you'd like to do whatever the hell it is, just do it. Thanks. Fear here. You ain't giving this to all, you steer clear. Never beat, I've been down and I reappear. You got some money on the line, you better. And we've got tires, tires, and tires. We've got big ones, small ones, straight ones, off-road ones. Oh my God! Why do we have so many tires? Tires, tires, tires. We have so many set of tires, 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 tires. Come on and get your tires. Oh my God, we got so many tires. Tires, tires, tires. Come see us, Dearborn Heights, Michigan, StudsRacing.com. If you look up the word passion in the dictionary, it says strong and barely controllable emotion, a man of impetuous passion. That's our next guest. He's Mini Bike Tommy. Don't miss it on the next Joe's Mini Bike Reunion podcast coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Joe's Mini Bike Reunion Podcast. This is season, what is it, e? season eight, episode eight. Thanks for being a part of it. Hopefully by now you guys have uh, done most of your wrenching on your bikes, getting them ready for the big event, July, or excuse me, July, I wish, October the 14th. Uh, I broke out a couple of my bikes. I'm trying to move stuff around in the garage getting ready. Uh, we just received a Trailmaster 7 horsepower golf cart slash go-kart that is really really cool we're going to give this away to one lucky participant along with an eight inch roller from gts more engines than i can shake a stick at uh, we've got products coming in from coker tire uh f and b racing mo fabco all of this and more for you the participants so register today at joe's mini bike reunion.com there's a variety of ways that you guys can register we've talked about it before you can just get in down and dirty where you get a spot to park in a goodie bag. Maybe you want to be on the dyno. You could pay a little bit more money to be on the dyno. Um, whatever it is. I, in fact, I was talking to a buddy of mine that I ride with um, on Friday nights, my buddy Ernesto. Ernesto has a Benelli, which is like a knockoff Grom. And it's not like really a good looking bike. It's beat to shit, in fact. And he was embarrassed to bring it in. So I say, um, Ernesto, you're going to bring your Benelli? He's like, no, nah, I don't want to bring that. It's like, dude, you have to. The odds are going to be like one out of 400 that you can win something. Um, you don't get those odds. Like, try to win a fucking pen from BIC. Send in a free thing. There's going to be a 5 million people to win the fucking pen. I'm letting you come to the show. You're going to have a chance to win all this stuff. Your odds are going to be like one in four to 500 the most. Those are odds that no one really has a chance to compete in to win anything worth taking home. Imagine... When Ernesto, who understood that paying, what, I think he did the $25 entry fee in advance, doesn't he win a $500 Yoshimura gift certificate to get a new Yoshimura pipe? So it happens. The dude never won anything in his life. When we called his name, you know, we called the number. When I saw this guy running down and I saw it was him, it's like, you know what? I fucking told him. So look, don't be penny wise and dollar foolish. 
And if your bike's ratty, guess what? No one cares. We just want you to be here. That's it. I just want you to come to the show. Bring your bike. Um, enter it. Spend the extra 10 bucks. Uh, make sure that you're part of the raffle because we're going to give away a lot of cool stuff. I always said that the best thing about the show is that you're there. So you have a chance to talk to the guys that have the same passion that you do, that have the same interest that you do. Get that bike ready. If nothing else, this, this event helps people take those bikes out that have been in the closet or back in the garage. Uh, I did it. I pulled out my um, DMC, Dave Miller. This is one of the last choppers that Dave Miller bought. And for those of you guys who may remember it, um, it was given away. Randy Arnett run it at Joe's Mini Bike Reunion a few years back. Then Dave Miller died. And um, I called Randy up because uh, he also builds Honda CT70s. I called him up about a Honda CT70 and I started asking him about the bike. And he was like trying to put a chopper seat on it. And one of the, he had an issue with uh, the shock. Uh, he couldn't find his seat. He was fucking it up. He was like, He's going to try to build some weird custom. And this was one of Dave Miller's last frames. So I bought it. And um, I stuck this little West Bend in there. And it's been sitting in the back. And I pulled it out because I didn't bring it to Joe's Mini Bike Reunion last year. There was a time when I, most of the bikes that were there were mine. Now I only bring one or two of my bikes because I'm there to see yours. You're not there to see mine. But this one I didn't bring. And I like it a lot. It, it, it shoots well. Um, it's kind of different. It's got a 600cc West Bend in there. Um, or not a 600 cc. It's got a, a West Bend uh, 600 in there. It, it's kind of unique. And when I pulled it out, the tire was flat and the jack shafts weren't lining up. So I've got a little work to do. And I'm kind of feeling that maybe you too find yourself in that situation. So dig the bike out. There's still more than enough time. We're a couple weeks away from the event. Definitely pre-register. You don't want to be waiting around on site. You can also save some money. So we've got some good giveaways. Uh, a big shout out to our sponsors. Uh, I forgot to give a shout out to our friends at Dingo Moto on the last podcast. Uh, look forward to having you guys, uh, Sam, Jocelyn, uh, Val. Uh, those guys, uh, they're building those old school vintage looking mini bikes with electric power. So it's kind of old meets new. Uh, they've been with us for a while now. Uh, they're really starting to blossom. I call them like the Tesla of the mini bike industry. And I'm really rooting for those guys. Uh, they have a crowd. Is it crowd? Is it crowdfunding? Emmanuel, is that what they call it? Yeah. They've got a program where you can get involved supporting that company on the come. Um, I tied my few million dollars up with Tesla, so I don't have any extra money. But when I do, I'm going to try to support my friends over there at Dingo Moto USA. I'd also like to give a shout out to our friends at Go Kart USA, who I mentioned. Uh, Al's coming down. He's bringing those American racers. Uh, speaking of that, Jake Moe from Mo Fabco is finishing up that custom American racer. Uh, we put a, um, a Tillerson electric start uh, engine on that to replace that old Honda clone. Uh, I'm looking forward to that coming out. And what I like about that bike is you can get a chance to see not only what the stock American racer or American flyer looks like compared to one that's custom that Jake Moe had built. Those bikes are all from the spirit of the Bonanza look and the Bonanza frame styles which I've always been a big, big fan of, as well as many of the others. So look forward to Al coming down there from Go-Kart USA. I was on the phone with Eric from Studs. Uh, shout out to Eric. Uh, Eric's going to be sending us some goodies. Uh, he's going to be coming in from Detroit. And just think about that, man. The guy takes time out of his business to fly halfway across the U.S. to be at our event and to, to meet you guys. So, man, that means a lot to me. He's a great guy. If you guys um, uh, haven't had the chance yet to, to, to talk to the guys at Studs, because he's in Michigan, he doesn't have as much of a rapport out here with the West Coast. Let's face it, a lot of the West Coast guys are small engine cam guys or, you know, uh, maybe other competitive uh, uh, places to buy parts, whether it's Go Power Sports or others. Uh, I like to think of that we're all in one big community, and I like having those guys there. So all those quote-unquote competitors, they're all at the show. It's Go-Kart USA, it's Studs Racing, it's Go Power Sports, it's GTS. And when they're there, there's no competitiveness. It's a collaboration. Uh, I see these guys breaking each other's balls, yet I know that there's talk and shop. You know, you see Jake Moe with Moe Fabco pipes, and you know that Jake Moe is really, really close with Frank from F&B. And some folks could say, well, gee, isn't Frank from F&B mad that Moe Fabco is selling pipes? And the answer is fucking no, because there's room in it for everybody, guys. And there's, there's things that we can learn from each other. And what's the old expression that, um, you know, when someone kind of copies you, it's like imitation is the purest form of flattery. So, like, if you're doing something and you're really good at it um, and someone else tries to do it, it's kind of a compliment. 
I've had some people say to me, hey, what's going on with Go Power Sports? They do an event now. They're, they're trying to do a podcast now. Blah, blah. It's like they're trying to do this shit. That, it's like, no, I, I don't look at it that way. I look at it like there's just another guy out there um, promoting our hobby. This is not my deal. This is not your deal. It's our deal, right? So the more people doing it, the more competition, that's healthy. Um, and I like to see more of that. If you're an engine builder um, and maybe you don't talk to some of the other engine builders or if you're a bike builder and for whatever reason you don't talk to the other bike builders, um, Joe's Mini Bike Reunion is the Switzerland of our hobby. And this is where you get to come together and turn that maybe that competitive spirit into maybe a little bit more of a friendship. Because guys, look, when it's all said and done, we're just guys who are into mini bikes. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere to the level of this next guy. Um, I heard of Mini Bike Tommy, like many of you have had. If you look at his Instagram page, he calls himself a video creator. I say bullshit to that. I say this is a guy that's like living it. I see him working, uh, building engines. I saw him jockeying bikes. I see him at Mansville. I see him talking shit and dropping the N-word. also see him giving huge respect to Solo at F&B. Talking about the old days and, and giving those guys their props and giving them the respect. I see a young guy like that jumping up, ready to take the world by the balls, chest is puffed out, kicking ass, taking names. This is the fucking guy I want on my podcast. Let's bring him up. Mini Bike Tommy, say hi to everybody. Yo, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? It's Mini Bike Tommy in the building. <laughs> Good to see you, Tommy. Man, it's a, it's a blessing to be here. I'm glad I'm here, man. Um, so are we. How was it? Where, where did you drive up from, Tommy? Uh, from L.A. Whereabouts? LA, Compton. 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 California with my good friend Jay-Z. We all say that. We all say you're L.A. And it's like, fuck. That <laughs> yeah. could be a lot of places, you know? <laughs> yeah, the trenches. Um, yeah. Some people say, oh, you mean Beverly Hills? Like, yeah, Beverly Hills. <laughs> that's, that's where we're from. Uh, well, look, long time coming. Uh, thank you for the effort to roll up. Uh, I heard about you. You heard a little bit about me? Yeah, I heard plenty <laughs> about you. You know, um, <laughs> it's, all it's true. pretty much a, it's an honor to be here. Like, um, there's a lot of people that do stuff in the community can't take for nobody but being here is like you've been if you if you've been here practically you made it well your name's set in stone that's pretty much your name's gonna live on like in the mini bike community it could be 15 years from now you're gonna i just watched a video they did about 12 years ago about so it's like once you made it here it's game over. It's you made it. That's it. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, somewhere in the middle of that, I agree. Somewhere, I, I know too much about the back scene and the backstory to all of this. But the fact is, is that uh, you and I do share something because um, I'm not a, a talented builder. I'm not a, a, a talented welder. Um, I'm not a talented jockey. <laughs> what I am is um, just someone who saw, like you did, that uh, there was a certain energy that these mini bikes cast upon us very early on as young kids that stayed with me throughout my whole career whether it's personal or business no matter what in the back of my fucking mind nothing put a smile on my face or tuned me up than hearing a, a, a centrifugal clutch engine with a chain rattling i never lost that um and that's what you and i have in common yeah, so yeah. let's talk about how it started for you okay yeah um i do ride my own bikes i am a great rider um how I got into this mini bike stuff was my dad um, had a prosthetic leg, so they cut his leg off, so he had a prosthetic leg. Um, so anything we did pretty much had to be with a motor, hands-on. It wasn't like we could play kick, uh, go to the park, play soccer, play football. That was out the window. Ain't no catching. None of it. it was you got to be riding. So my dad got us a mini bike. So my dad got us a mini bike. He got me a quad with a Ding Dong 6.5. And my brothers had mini bikes, and we just got into riding. We used to go on the canals from from Compton. We used to go to from Compton to Queen Mary, from Queen Mary all the way to. A That's Long Beach. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and it was just it'll be a ride. <laughs> and they always broke yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, and then it's like we got into it because my dad couldn't really do stuff like that. So that's how my dad got in with the mini bikes, go karts, the little pocket bikes, and ever since then it just pretty much stuck with us. Shout out to him, Charles. Charles was the first person we met that built engines, and he started off with the Hondas, the 5.5s. Yeah, the clones, right? Yeah. Um, so we never had the money to build the motors, but my dad for sure had us on good, safe bikes, you know, with our spacers made. He never liked lock collars. He would have a spacer, fat tire in the back, you know, and we, he made the best out of what we could. You well, know? he knew. And he did have four <laughs> kids, so it's, you know, it was a lot coming from a... You know, we're not we're not a family with money. We're a family, you know, united. So we did the best we can. Sure. Obviously, my dad was, you know, one-legged. He wasn't a person who wanted to live off of, 
you know, off the county. So he was working. Yep. And that was a mechanic. So that being said, we got into the mini biking. We've been doing that. Like I said, follow back with Charles. We never had the money to get motors built. So we just had a little playing around stuff. Charles would tweak on little stuff like that. From Charles, that's how we met Daryl. Daryl used to build those two-stroke motors. Sure. The ones on the beach cruise with the motors. Right. So that's how Daryl came along. Daryl was a good friend of the family. A lot of respect for him. You know, it How is long con- have you known Daryl? Um, he knew me since I was in diapers. Oh, great. Mm, yes, so he, he actually knew me before I knew him. Sure. You can, he yeah, would just yeah. pop up at my house. <laughs> and, um, you know, he was good friends Because with he knew dad. your dad. Yeah. yeah What's really your dad's good. name? Uh, Fidel Corral, Chapo. Yeah. They call him Chapo. How is he today? Um, oh, my dad passed away. Oh, he, sorry to hear that. I know yeah, that. Okay. appreciate that. I'm yeah, like, yeah. You know, he long gone. Bob. You know, rest in peace, my pop. You sure. Me? I got a lot of love for him. You know, this is what I do is do my pops. When my dad died, I was um 13. So I picked up where he left off at, and that was mini biking. Yep. And that's why I'm so passionate about mini bikes because of my dad. I feel like I have, like, when I'm out there racing, I'm talking chest out, that's because of my dad. Yep. Because that's how my dad was. Well, it's real, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's it, real. Yeah. And it's like, at the end of the day, we're all one. Yep. So that's how I look at it. You know, but there was going to be competition. And that's how we got into it. And back to the Daryl thing, Daryl was on the, you know, on the um, beach cruise with the two-stroke motors. He actually built my brother, uh, I think it was like an 11 horsepower. Yeah. He actually put a premier clutch. That's <laughs> when we bought the premier clutch. We thought we was doing it. Like, <laughs> nobody could touch us. We was unstoppable. That was, that was big at that time. Yeah, right yep. there on the 130th, right sure. there in Washington and city of Hawthorne. We feel untouchable. And Daryl put a premier clutch. He tweaked on it. He put like a carb on it and some et cetera. So I was still a kid, so I really don't remember as much. But my brother was calling him nonstop. Oh, sure. Bugging him for the bike. Kept on bugging him. He's Story like, of a builder's life. Yeah, he was like, man, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get there. Don't worry about it. My brother left school early because Daryl showed up. He showed up with the bike. And we fell in love ever since then. Uh, man, it's funny like, you say that uh, because I have um, Electra built these rat things. The green rat things with the high handlebars and the white seat. And I had one. And I wasn't riding it. And I had heard about Daryl building those motorized bikes. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know what? That chopper's just sitting in there. Let me get Unc to stick one on there. I don't know if he if I gave it to him at the mini bike show, but one year I just gave him the bike and said, just do it. And time went by. And I had all but forgotten I had the bike. I said, Daryl, I said, man, I forgot it. You had the bike. He goes, Joe, I'm, I haven't even got to it. I started thinking about it. It's like, you know what? That bike's so cool because they made more of them, but not with real metal. It was mm-hmm. like, as the bikes got progressively newer, they got shittier, like so many things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I realized I had one of the original ones with the, the, the well-built frame. And it's like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. But I never got onto the two-stroke bike. Obviously, I've worked with him with mini bike engines. Uh, he's one of the he's he's one of the go to guys. We talked to Arlio Davis on the last podcast, and we we're bringing up engine builders, guys like Arlie, guys like um, Big Daddy, guys like Big Belly, uh, MDB. Those were all the guys that you were kind of yeah. you were a kid in diapers. Yeah. Those guys were kind of making names for themselves. Yeah. So then you now are into it. Did you come into it first as a as a jockey, as a rider out there racing? Yeah. Um, and is that what you would say you started off as as a as a jockey? And builder? I, I came in as a rider. Okay. Um, I always had my own stuff. Never rode other people's stuff. Like, I always had my own stuff. I actually came in as a rider, okay. riding my own bike. What bike was it? What um, kind of bike? It was a GTS. Uh-huh. Shout um, out to GTS? Yeah, shout out to GTS, man. They got the best frames. <laughs> They're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you know what it is, Go on one of those Shout out to Ralph. Yeah. Shout out to George. And shout out to Georgie, the, George's, yep. George's son. They'll shout all be there. Him. They'll all be yeah. there. The, and, did you go to the picnic? Um, um, no, I didn't yeah, go. I, I missed it. I didn't I just, go. Yeah. yeah, I didn't go. I know you was there. I I didn't yeah. go. I have some things. Um, wife was sick, All pretty right. much. So you had but, a GTS. Uh, yeah, the- a GTS, and I actually bought a fully built standard board from Daryl from one of his customers. I think for like a thousand dollars with a Hitler clutch, and I was doing about um like eighty. You know, I was going with a Hitler clutch, so that was like my first bike since I bought myself. And, like, a lot of people have the problem with their parents didn't want to buy the mini bikes. That was not my problem. Yeah, yeah. It was the total opposite. Yeah. My dad got me a quad, True. pocket bike, yeah. mini it's bike. It's the mothers. It's the yeah. mothers. The fathers subconsciously all wanted yeah, to have yeah. everything, but the my mothers. My dad had everything. Yeah. 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 So Good. it was a little different for me. But once with my own money, I bought a GTS. I bought the motor. It was on a crash bike because Unc built it. Yep. Uh, it was too much power for the person who <laughs> rode it, crashed. I hopped on it. I got the standard board. 
doing down doing 80. And I'm, I was 240 pounds. And how old were you at the time? Um, I was already like 18 years old. Yeah, 19. so you're still a young pup, though. Yeah, yeah. still a young guy. I was like 18, 19. Talking shit and everything. I saw yeah. the videos. Yeah, man. I was going crazy, you know. <laughs> I started off with Daryl. Uh, shout out to Daryl. You know, much respect for him. Um, you know, I'm just moving on to different different um, builds. And, and I'm looking to hit hit lines that I haven't hit before. I, I want to do stuff that people haven't achieved yet. So so you're, you're feeling pretty good. Uh, this is in your blood. Uh, you got bikes. You got your own money now. You got a pretty good setup. If you're getting, if you're, if you're riding around with a uh, a beady or a, a, a big belly or a big daddy in this case engine, thousand yeah. dollar engine, you're doing pretty good. When does it go from uh, a rider to now you got to capture everything on video? When did you get the video bug? Um, the video bug was from my boy Jay Z. Well, it was because of my boy Jay Z because um, he showed me how to do all the, the video and stuff. Because riding, I could ride my own bike, but there's not many people in my, in my weight division, so I didn't have the chance to race people and. I would have to do handicap races where I would have to race somebody, a jockey that weighs 140 yeah. pounds. I'm 240. They're barely beating me. So the moment that I put my bike for a skinny person, nobody wanted to smoke. Sure. And I just got into it. You know, like I took a few losses. I took plenty of wins. But now I want my girlfriend, Arlie. He's my builder now. Me and Jay-Z, we, we built motors together. So shout out to Jay-Z. He's teaching me a lot of things. But as in now... My bike, as we speak now, is built by Arlie, and we're going we gonna, to we gonna break records. So next time my bike come out, we're going to break a high number, and that's what's building my motors. What I about could, jockeys? Um, jockeys, um, plenty, look, I'm going to give every jockey their respect. We got Jay-Z, we got Drew, we got Miklo, we got um, Cisco. Um, Cisco as well. We got Lil Zoom, we got um, Dre. Um, we have plenty of routers, so I forget about you. My bad. We yeah, also don't got, worry like, about big that because it happens. Like, we got big yep. Zoom. Like, man, this endless of people. Like, Charles used to ride his own bikes. Like, man, there's plenty of people. Anybody that's willing to get on a bike and hit it full on, my respects. No, oh, yeah. So it's like, it's endless of riders. I, I, if I forget your name, my bad. Um, but there's a lot of people that ride. It's just that it comes down to a weight, and we're off of one motor. These motors only have one piston. We're off of one stroke only. So it's very delicate. It's not like a car that you can have six cylinders or eight cylinders, you know, eight pistons, eight rods. This is just yep. one, and you got to make it work. So, so pretty clear then the rider is has got to be the differentiation point. I mean, that, that yeah. rider's ability to adjust, that rider's ability to have the balls. Yeah, to, to ride. Yeah. So like I said, and then I wanted to bring it back a notch that I forgot to say. Daryl got into the beast truth with the two strokes because of my brother Francisco. My brother showed him his first beast cruiser with a motor. I just forgot, remember. So Daryl takes on the bike that's already built and says, oh, I can do this. Yeah, I can, can yeah, fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Which would, uh, which all that's the, how he got into no the... Shit. Um, and what's your brother's name? Um, Francisco. Yeah, there you go. Shout yeah. out, Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so is it is it really true then that if asked what your role is in this big hobby that you would still hang your hat on video creator? It, it seems as if that's just one of the things that you eventually got into. You, you really aren't just... Like you're not, you're not day day, right? You're not. You're, yeah, yeah. Not. So, 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 you are continuing to to still get on a bike or no? Yes, no. I continue to competitively. Ride. Yes, competitively. Okay, so you're still doing the jockey thing. Still doing it. I see you laying out a budget build, so you're still doing the building stuff. Um, yeah, budget With, builds. Just having fun. Okay. Learning a few stuff from Jay Z. Great. Teaching me. And you mentioned Jay Z. In fact, Jay Z's in the audience. We'll give him a shout out as well. Yeah, shout out to my boy Jay Z. Yeah. Salute, man. Um, five five. Where can folks find out more about him? Instagram or something um, as well? Instagram, YouTube. He's one of the biggest YouTubes um, from Compton. Yeah. Yeah. T learn a lot from him. Uh, I know that you uh, obviously had had uh, some strong uh, feelings about him. When Tommy got here originally, he was actually wanting to have Jay-Z on the, the podcast. Uh, most of the times we have guests... And I allow them to bring somebody so they don't have to, what, drive together or be nervous on the way up or somebody to get high with on the way home. I don't know. You got to have somebody with you, right? Um, but we don't necessarily have them on as guests because I like to know a little bit about them. I like to have a couple do my homework. Um, but in that same token, uh, if, if he's as uh, good as uh, you're suggesting, folks should know a little bit more about him. So we'll give you some information on how you get a hold of him on Instagram. Obviously, you can get a hold of him through Mini Bike Tommy as well. Appreciate that. So when... when I had stumbled upon you. It was, uh, ah, this dude's a fucking videos, 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 videos. I tried to get to your first video, which I eventually found. You should mm -hmm. look at it sometime, too. Uh, it's a long roll up when you're yeah. trying to scroll through those videos. Yeah. But I was there for five minutes. So <laughs> how many have you done? Have you done 1,600, um, 2,000 of these videos? No, um, 
um, Instagram, I have endless of videos. Yeah, I, I can tell um, my fingers yeah, broke from rolling endless up. Endless of videos, you know. Well, how many do you think you had? Um, on Instagram, <laughs> I probably got like 300. And on my YouTube, I probably got like 100 videos. You know, um, I post a lot of stuff and I give a lot of footage to other people. Yeah. I just pretty much post whatever. It's not a certain, um, certain You're good people. At it. Yeah, I just <laughs> yeah. post it and what goes on in Compton, you know. And I'm pretty much like, my video is like, it's the raw. A lot of other YouTubers, they edit stuff out. Mine is the Unedited. raw. Unedited? The real deal. Yeah. You, you're you going to get the, the real deal. <laughs> the producer's cringing over there. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> but I like raw. I, yeah. I, I like it, too. Um, I, I took a note here, um, and I wanted to ask you about it. Uh, I guess I'll get to it. Cause if I would have remembered if it was that important. Ultimately, uh Mini Bike Tommy has this notoriety on social media of the dude with all these videos. You're 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 definitely into it for sure. Um, where do, where do you see yourself going? Like, is it just continuing racing, continuing building, continuing network? Is there an end game for you? Do you want to have a business? Do you want to have uh, uh, a video company? What, what's your end game for Mini Bike Tommy in this in this big picture? To tell the truth about the Mini Bike community. That is not. It, I just want to tell the truth about the mini bike community. Let's let's do that. It, it's not always it's not always lipstick it's, and, uh, yeah, it's not, and candy, for the right? Cameras shake hands, fake pat on the back. When the cameras are off and you're not there, it's a whole different other story. Me, I'm just doing it like I do sell bikes and stuff like that. But it's if you hit me up direct, I'll get you right. I'm not in it for the money. Sure. This is what comes natural to me, you know. But there is like this is stuff that I like to do videos because. Um, I feel like I can express myself. The real you. Yeah, the real yeah. me. And it's just like a lot of people get a different image of the mini bike community of like Compton when I want to expose the truth. Where like on my videos you will get the realest. You give me like I was I was I'm good friends with every builder and I have bump heads with each and every builder when because I tell the truth. I each and every builder besides Arlie because I I'm barely getting my motor built by Arlie right now. Okay. But every other builder, they're a hit and a miss. And I say that respectfully. Okay. You could give them six motors with the same combination, and only one will come out fast, and the other five will come out slow. Why do you think that is? Personal experience. I have motors built. I got motors built. I ran with that combination. Same thing. And I just... Dude, plus they're mechanical. Yeah, they're mechanical. Even, even the best engine builder... Will fail. It's, it's a part of the game. You know, but it's just like when it comes down to the mini bike scene, I'd like to be honest. Big Benny has built a fast bike. Artie has built a fast bike. Daryl has built a fast bike. Um, Charles has built a fast bike. But I don't know why the guys can't seem to just give it up to each other. That's what I would like to see. Because we stand as one, but it's like it's the fake pat on the backs that my boy Artie was saying. Everybody builds fast bikes. My boy, um, Jay Z, did a bike that went 96. You hear me? And he's not a three inch, he's a two eight. 96 was in a like, I think, with a like an 11 second pass, yep. 11 and a half. That's very fast and talent, ETA and mile per hour. And so, despite that talent that he may have, what you're saying is out amongst when the cameras are off. It's everybody talking shit about him. Oh, that that's bullshit. He 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 don't yeah. know. That. He's he's new to the game. Uh, who you know, or even the old school guys. Whether it's maybe a competitiveness. I don't know. You take MDB like in uh, uh, in Unk. Yeah, you know, like Charles. It, man, yeah. his bikes. He was the first one to do the welded blocks. He was the first one to do the pop out sleeve. And as soon as you say that, there's a group of people outside. The math, dude. Did you see those welds? That was, that was the worst, you know, did, 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 you know, did you hear about this guy? Yeah, he was the first ones, honestly. Charles was the first ones. Like, Charles, I think, for me, was one of the first ones. Um, Daryl was eating up the gasser competition. When Daryl came out with yeah. the gassers, man, Daryl had fast gassers. Well, plus, Daryl was a two-stroke king. Yeah. It was a whole different world. And on top of that, he had a bunch of cats. Um, I think his good old friend Alex, yeah. um, that's a good friend of Daryl. Man, they had the cleanest cats. Man, moving out there. And I give everybody their respect. Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel like for this to get to the next level, you just got to look at it at the next level. It won't get to the next level. And act that way. Exactly, because it determines on us. 
it determines on the people in the community. Yeah. You know, and I am a big, we can, you can't cuss on here. Hey, have you heard me for the last fucking oh, hour? Like, <sighs> we're big shit talkers. We talk shit, you know, like, yo, shit's slow. Woo, woo. Like, we talk the biggest shit out there. And I have done that. In, in good spirit, yeah. though, I see it. But at it. the end of the day, I'll, I'll tell you straight up, like, hey, I beat your bike and I beat it by luck, but I won't race you again. I keep it a stat. Mm -hmm. I will never lie, yeah. and that's what people don't like me. That's what people hate yeah, and I, envy because I'll tell you, your bike is faster, but I won. Yeah. So you're not gonna race me again because I know you'll <laughs> you're possibly racing. beat me. <laughs> but I'm gonna stay with this win, and you're gonna live on with it. It's like a manager uh, bringing a, a boxer along. <laughs> you know, um, it, 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 it's, it's a little bit different. You don't take the toughest fights uh, at the beginning. You, you're calculated about the path that you take. Pretty much. You know, there's there's a little bit of a plan of attack, right? Yeah, Otherwise, man. you run into the first chainsaw and yeah. you're you're done it, exactly and they're like man i back to you again i can't believe that i'm here man i'm really like happy that i'm here and i get to express this what i'm telling you here because it's true man like, well you got a little bit more time what else what, what are the things that um i think i i think i'm pretty clear what you enjoy about the hobby it, it just brings us back to that time when we were young when we didn't worry about if we're going to be able to pay the credit card bill or, 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 or we're young enough where if one of our aunts are dying, it really doesn't affect us. You just want to go play. When you get older, things in life have a much heavier bearing than whether or not you're going to go ride your mini bike or race your mini bike Correct. or go to a mini bike show or a Correct. fucking mini bike podcast, right? Correct. Um, so we know that you've got the passion that you like it. Um, you seem to obviously be able to handle yourself about feeling, expressing your feelings, um, th there are some bad sides to just about everything. There's always people talking shit or people mm -hmm. that are going to hate you, but we talked about it earlier. Those guys are still following you, so deep down, they're still mm -hmm. fans. Uh, you seem to have a nice collection of them. What are some of the, what's some of the feedback that you get on your social media? You, you got a lot of, hey, uh, I love your stuff. You, you, get a lot of, you get a lot of shit on your, on um, your social media too, or is it Instagram, mostly good? Like, yeah. um, on my Instagram, I get a lot of people saying, like, oh, like, ride your own bike, you know, like little fat dude, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, it don't yeah. bother me. It's just like bad stuff. And they'd be like, ride your own bike. And, um, and they'd be like, oh, that's a piece of shit bike. It's ugly. And you and, got one of the nicest, cleanest bikes I've seen. That, yeah. that red bike. That and you then just like, oh, like, you know, that's like, you like, they just speak the worst of the worst. And it comes down to like, people make fun of my bike, um, who I choose to hang around with, who I choose to get back, um, built with. And it's just at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because, you know, I go wherever I feel they're going to treat me right. And I'm not saying this because I'm with, up with the AV now, but I think the AV has treated me the best because till this day, I haven't heard about my motor, my specs on my motor. I haven't heard. He knows each and every spec of my motor, Arlie. It hasn't came back to my ear yet. Okay. You know, yeah. every other builder that I've been with, like, I'm not speaking about bad about anybody. I just... You hear the negativity, and honestly, right there with AV, I feel like it's perfect. Like I, I, I want, I want to stay there permanently. That's where I want to be at now. You know, I am from SG Racing. Shout out to my boy KY and SG D Red. I am. That's my racing team. But he is obviously my builder now, and I feel very like welcome there. That's where I want to stay. And a lot of people hate that. Oh. You know, a lot of people are mad at that. Oh, you're gonna go where you're gonna go fast. Correctly. Yeah. Uh, if a builder comes out the blue. And he's doing 150. I'm, I'm gonna go go get a motor built by him, and I'm gonna add my drizzle. But yeah. it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna go kick it with my boy Arlie or the people that I select my circle with. You've heard me say this before. I like to try to be Switzerland. You know, Switzerland's <laughs> one of those places where they they want to be friends with everybody, right? At some point, though, you have to also draw the line because not everybody is in that same mode. There's a lot of mooches out there. There's a lot of people that will. I fuck you and mind fuck you because they want to be what on the podcast or be at the show. You, you got something that they want. Um, when there's no agenda and you're doing it because you love it and obviously you do it, that's where you're enjoying it the most. Um, we're, um, we're hopefully going to see you on October the 14th. You plan on coming out to the, the reunion, yeah. I hope. Um, coming out for good. sure with a new bike. Well, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure. Uh, we probably could keep going for like another hour. Five uh, hours. Yeah, maybe there's an opportunity for us to revisit this again with you. Uh, we've been here, folks, with uh, Mini Bike Tommy. Uh, you don't mind. It's, it's Mini Bike but it's Tommy, is it Corral? Is that your last name? Corral, yeah. Yeah. My last name. Nice. Um, if you want to get a hold of him or maybe uh, check out some of his videos or see what he's been up to over the last few years, you could check him out on uh, Instagram. What's the uh, what's the Instagram you like? Is it Mini Bike Tommy underscore? Yeah, Mini Bike Tommy underscore. If you want to look for me on my platform, yep. everything is Mini Bike Tommy on all my platforms. Good. The only platform I don't have is Facebook. 
Facebook and TikTok. Other than that, I got everything else. Tommy, is there anything maybe that uh, you wanted to mention before we uh, finish or anybody you want to give a shout out to? Um, I want to get a shout out. Oh, the one I mention is, I wish a lot of people would have stick with me, but they jumped ship too early. But I'm happy that a lot of people jump ship too early, and I'm here where I'm at now. I want to send a special shout out to um, my boy Jay Z, um, Artie, and when I mean Artie, I mean all of AV and the people that stand with him, including the person right there next to him too. If you know, you know, and um, anybody that stands with SG and uh, roots for me, also shout out to them, and pretty much um. That's pretty much it. Shout out to my kids, you know. Yep. And honestly, what are the kids' um, names? I got six kids, so I got Rosalino, I got um, Javier, I got. Coquillo. This is where he gets in trouble when he forgets yeah. one of the kids' names. I got Conquillo, <laughs> I got um, sure. Luna, and I got Chapo, and I got my my daughter on the way, my other daughter on the way. God yeah. bless them all. Yeah, God bless. Good them for all. you, man. And most importantly, man, shout out to my pops, man. Straight yes. up, yeah, to man. my my pops. He's watching now. To my pops, Chapo, you give me like. The, the reason why I move how I move and pop my chest out and stand on my 10 toes with 10 people behind me or by myself because of my dad, the way he raises. Nice. You know, and I know a lot of people don't support me when I push the N-word, but I, um, I show Artie, like I told Artie, the man, he, he got baby pictures of me. I grew up with the blacks, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So the way I move, the way I lingo is because of the background where I grew up at. But like I said, it's, shout out, it's really to my, shout out to my dad. That's all who matters right now. Good. And when I go out there, when I'm getting a bike built or and when I'm looking at a bike and I'm visualizing, it's with my dad's flavor. I, I got to tell you that despite the fact this is a first time meeting, you and I are, are like-minded. When I first started off early on, um, I met Jake Moe. Uh, I went up to the AV. I met some of the guys up there. I spent some time with them. And it is a different group. They are genuine. There's a lot, you know, they, they have their fun and they, they like to break balls, but they're a talented group. Uh, they're definitely uh, a tight bonded group. You get the sense that that's not necessarily the case a little bit further south. There's a lot of folks that are with you when the getting's good and when you don't have something that they want. Yeah. You, so, 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 so with all that said, that's just life. Um, None of it's keeping you down. You're still beaming. You're still smiling. Yeah. You're still making shit happen. And you're still <laughs> exactly. doing your thing. So just keep doing that. Uh, folks, you've been listening to Mini Bike Tommy on Joe's Mini Bike Reunion Podcast. This is Season 8, Episode 8. Uh, I'd like to remind you guys that uh, we're only weeks away from Joe's Mini Bike Reunion. It's the 11th annual. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors from Go-Kart USA, Studs Racing, uh, GTS, uh, Go Power Sports, a few others, our friends at Dingo Moto USA. Uh, check those guys out online. Uh, they'll definitely be on site. We've got uh, a big event in store. And I'm still fine-tuning things. Every day, UPS, FedEx are dropping off products. We're going to be stuffing goodie bags. If you have stickers that you'd like me to put into the goodie bags, let me know. I need to have them by September the 15th, and we'll stick them inside the goodie bags. Let's face it. Decals are the business cards of our industry. Uh, no one hands you out a business card. It's all about decals. <laughs> You've got to look out for uh, Arlie Built's new decal upcoming. He's working on a new one. You're not going to want to miss that one. How about you, Mini Bike Tommy? You got decals? Um, How can I, a man of your stature not have your own decals? Yeah, the man? reason so, why I do um, decals because I'm not I'm not a likable person. I'm a noble person, but just nobody really likes uh, me. I, I'd buy all of them. <laughs> I uh, appreciate you, it. I, I'm telling you, man, uh, you do your decal. Have it for me at Joe's Mini Bike Reunion. I will. And, dude, um, this is the shot. It's that <laughs> outfit. I'm at Mini Bike. That's the shot. <laughs> um, hopefully, you enjoyed the podcast as much as I did. Uh, how refreshing. See somebody that just as into it, just as pumped up as uh, some of us get. Um, despite the haters and despite the bullshit, yeah. right? Um, man, because we, we this makes us ready. stronger. Yeah, gonna man, get, them, get ready. them bikes ready. Which for one you bring it? Um, I'm bringing out my bike called Venom that I'm actually getting built right now by Artie. Um, it's gonna be Venom. It's gonna be murdered out black. Well, don't get so. bit by the Venom at Joe's Mini Bike <laughs> Reunion, October the 14th. Hey, everybody! Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. See you next time, Joe's Mini Bike Reunion podcast. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's it, baby. Show.